That's right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Israel and Hamas have struck a deal to extend that temporary ceasefire by another day. Just minutes before the truce was set to expire, uh, there was violence. Yeah, and shortly after, several people were killed in an early morning shooting in Jerusalem. Let's bring in right off the top here Nick Smith with the very latest. Nick, what do we know about this attack this morning? Well, Mark Adrian, authorities confirm at least three people were killed and 13 others were injured when two Palestinian gunmen opened fire on a bus stop. Now, the attack happened in the outskirts of the city during the early morning rush hour. The terrorists were armed with an M16 rifle and a handgun, two off duty IDF soldiers, and a civilian shot and killed the attackers at the scene. A nearby medical center confirmed it was treating some of the victims, several of whom are in serious condition. Israel's national security minister went to the scene telling reporters there that the terror attack proves Israel needs to respond to Hamas, quote, through the war. Officials say the gunmen were from East Jerusalem and were affiliated with Hamas. The Shin Bet Intelligence Agency also said the shooters had previously been jailed for terror activity. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was in Tel Aviv this morning with Israel President Isaac Herzog, and he condemned the attack, saying his heart goes out to the victims. Adrian Markey. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.